Good evening a todos. Hello, hello. Good evening. It's a pleasure. <laughs> No se le escucha. No se me oye. Hoy sí se me oye. <risa> que tenía Hoy sí, teacher. Hoy sí. Oso, vea. Tra, tras que amolada, peor todavía. <risa> no. So, let's see. Uh, today is the last day of the course, right? Hoy es el último día del curso, ¿verdad? Del preintermedio uno. It's been a pleasure being with you all of these days. Sí, un placer estar con ustedes todo este tiempo. Y espero que hayan aprendido algo nuevo todas las clases, ¿verdad? So let's get started. Vamos a empezar con lo que tenemos pendiente para poder avanzar en lo demás que quedamos pendiente también, ¿verdad? Que eran los phrase solvers que nos pedía Elizabeth. Y la misma lista que les mandé ahí, um, se las mandé de una página que los encontré en PDF. There are like a 200, I think, or more, uh, so that it will be good for you if you wanted to learn them or if you want to just uh, to check them on, right? So let's see. Um, here, this is what we have that is um, basically the final test, right? Before that we get started, any question about this? Antes de que comencemos, alguna pregunta acerca de esto? No? No, we can do. All right, so we will try to do it as fast as we can, uh, practicing what we've been studying in the just in the previous exam. Let's remember we need to read the questions or what they are asking for us. For example, Catherine has brothers and sisters. So here we already know that we are looking for a number. We have here three options, right? Then we have nowadays Mark is leaving. So here we have another three options where he might be leaving with his wife, with a friend or at home. And the last, uh, almost the last one, the number three, Sharon usually goes to the gym. So we are looking for a one date of the week or just a frequency time that she repeats the action, right? And as well in the number four, we have some of the men's younger brothers, sisters. So we are going to be looking where are they, right? If they will be in the school, they have no child or if they are working abroad. So let's listen the dialogue just because, and let's see. I think I will need to share my audio. Let's see, yes. And let's wait. Tell me about your family, Catherine. Okay, so are you able to listen it? Yes? All right. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full-time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now. But I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes, I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. <laughs> That's for sure. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? 
Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. So let's see, we were able to listen in there, right? So just as a commercial, get prepared, saying that it's going to be cold, right? Get prepared. Yes. yes. We are going like the movie day after tomorrow, right? <laughs> yes, yes, USA is very difficult. Yes. Mm -hmm. Prepare yourself, this is going to be cold. So let's see, Thank we you. got uh, Catherine has brothers and sister. How many does she has? Seven. 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 Seven, Seven right? Seven. Four sisters and three brothers. Four sisters and three brothers. A large family, huh? <laughs> okay. Nowadays, Mark is living at home with a friend, with his wife. With a friend. With a friend. With a friend, right? And is a friend from where? From the job or from the school? Um, since seven, five a week. It's a, three times a week. Oh, you were reading this one. Three times a week, <laughs> twice a week, or on Saturday? On um, Thursdays. I don't remember, but three I, times a week. I think three times, times, times a week, time. right? Three times a week, that's true. The Sharon, this is Sharon, right? So some, uh, some of the men's younger brother sisters are in the school, have one child, are working aboard. Are, are in the school. Are in school. Working working abroad. Abroad. Are in the school or working aboard? Working working aboard. Okay, how many does it says working aboard? Are working aboard. Are work, are working working aboard. Working aboard. Okay, let's see. Working aboard. You have two answers. Your last one. No me la va a querer aceptar. Like mm -hmm. the kids, right? They play both uh -huh. of them in the in their exams. If they do it, I have seen it. <laughs> I have seen it. Let's see. So here we have everything complete, right? Uh, in the listening part. So questions so far about this. Preguntas acerca de esto. No. No? Seguro? No, teacher. Okay. Sorry, I'm just getting my allergies with all of this cold. This is teacher, what's cold. meaning abroad? The meaning abroad, it is en el extranjero. Oh, thank you, very kind. You're welcome. You're welcome. That it would be in el extranjero. Okay. Sorry, mm -hmm. um, my allergies um getting me crazy. Well, let's see. Uh, this one's uh we have already completed because some of you were uh, asking these questions, right? Whenever we were uh doing in the previous weeks. So let's see. Um. In the part number one, it says instructions complete the sentences with do, does, or will, right? I have already the answers here. Can someone read the number one along with the answer? Alguien puede leer la número uno junto con la respuesta? Okay. Uh, go to watch see a movie tonight. Sure, what time does it start? Allow me just one second. Give me just one second. Okay. Would you like to see a movie tonight? Sure. What time does it start? Thank you very much. Yes, that it will be, right? Would you like to see a movie tonight? What time does it start? That's true. So we already know that it will be would like. For what do we use would like? Para que utilizábamos would like? When I... Mm -hmm. To express I what? Or when I want to think? When you want something, Respeto right? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
That's true. When you want to know something about someone, or if you would like, or if you want to know if this person wants to do something, right? In this case, going to the movies, right? So let's see the number two. Can someone read the number two along with the answer, please? You like horror movies? Mm -hmm. No, not really. Not really, right? Do you like horror music? I love horror movies. Horror movies? Horror music? No, not really. Whoa. Horror movies. Horror movies, okay. What it. about you guys? Do you like horror <laughs> movies? Horror movies. Okay, yes. 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 yes? Okay. Yes. Wow. That's good. It's number three. Who would like to read number three? Alejandra, go ahead. Okay. Uh, what kind of music does your friend Ricardo like? Uh, rock and classic, rock. I think. I I think. Thank you very much. That yes, will be. So what kind of music do you like, guys? A ustedes cuál les gusta? Oh, kind of music. I love pop music. Pop, 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 music. pop rock, all kinds of music. Electronic, okay. Who says reggaeton? Nadie says reggaeton. Yes, sometimes I like it. Yeah, Everything. I mean, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Before the pandemic, <laughs> do you go to the cinema? Good evening. Before the, pandem the pandemic, yes. Do you go dancing? Some of you? Yeah. No. No, I can't. Not really? You can't. Okay. It's very difficult. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like to dance. Okay. We need to go. I like we but, need to go like, <laughs> but you like listening? But I like to sing. You like to sing? Whoa. Oh, that's good. So she doesn't like to dance, but she likes to dance. Yes, the karaoke, yeah, right? Yeah, we can go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> and the karaoke, everyone there, I think this, right? <laughs> <laughs> just moving around. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's good. So if you like to go dancing or if you like to go into the karaoke, that's awesome, right? Either or yeah. both of them are the good options. So let's see, what do we have here? It says instructions, complete the following conversations, use present continuous of uh, 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 romantic music. Oh, he likes romantic music, he said. All right. He likes romantic music. That's awesome too. That's a pretty common type of music, okay. right? Kind of music. Rise in the morning. I feel what? the touch me in the rain. Oh, he's singing for us. He's singing for us. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. All right. He's singing for us. Right. <laughs> I'm not afraid of singing to us, right? That's awesome. I love this song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who wants to do this one in the second part? Uh, the number How one along with the <laughs> with the answer too. If you're so kind. ¿Quién le gustaría ser la número uno de la segunda parte? Okay, Anna, go ahead. How is your sister? Is she studying? Is, is she studying these days? Okay, is she studying these days? If you want to give an answer with the positive, how do you will do it? Yeah, she's a study. Yes, she's a studying. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. What about the letter mm -hmm. B and the number two? Who? Who said me? Who dijo you? Alguien me dijo yo. Alejandra, go ahead. Um, no, she isn't. She is working as a cashier at the grocery store. Okay, thank you very much. So the number two, who would like to do it? Number two. ¿Quién le gustaría hacer la número dos? Me, Leslie. Leslie, go ahead. Is that Davy over there? Mm -hmm. Who is he waiting for? For. Okay, letter B. Who would like to be letter B? Mm 
Letter B, no one. Letter B. Give me just a second. His girlfriend, Go ahead. Magic, is coming in the bus. Okay. His girlfriend, Magic, she's coming in the bus. Thank you very much. Give me just one second. This, this thing doesn't have clarity, so I need to get the connection in the that it will be this is in the electricity. Just so one second. that um i didn't get realized that my battery was low right now maybe i'll go cuenta que la batería estaba baja really sorry, sorry. yes <laughs> but this one yeah sometimes i forget it to do it in the morning right let me be asked in the morning lo siento so let's see uh the number is a number we have already finished this part the letter b part what you so far about this part Preguntas acerca de esta parte. Questions? No questions? No. Nope. All right. Let's see. It says multiple choice, right? Um, here we have a multiple choice instruction, just the correct word. Let's say Jay does every morning before breakfast. What will be the correct one? Yoga, football, jogging. Yoga. Jogging. Yoga. 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 So how often do you swim in in summer? Go, do, play. Go. How often do you go? Go. Swimming in the summer. Mm -hmm. Go. 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 Okay, let's see. So go I together. sometimes play with my friends oh. in the light oh, skating, aerobics, baseball. Baseball. Baseball, okay, let's see, let's Bye. submit the answers. Okay, there we go. So Actually, we have nice. some yoga. infrared, right? So oh, let's see with the yoga. <laughs> What's yoga? I thought it was jogging. <laughs> Why Oops. yoga? Oh, there we go, yes. It is yoga. Yeah. Well, I will say jogging right before, but anyways, it's yoga, it's safe. Yoga. Questions so far about this? Preguntas acerca de esto. No? No. No, teacher. No. All right. So let's go to the next page, right? It says read the article, then check the correct answers. Quiere que leamos el artículo acá y que chequemos las correct answers. Veamos. Y esto no lo abre más. No lo abre más. Qué triste la vida. All the talk. There we go. Okay. A la Miss Audrey. I'm going to place mute to everyone. Is someone having interference? And that's not good. Okay. So there we go. So we have here Audrey Tattoo. So who would like to read the first paragraph? Okay, me, Astrid. Go ahead, Astrid. Si la escuchamos, Astrid. Okay, Audrey Tatu is a young French actress. She has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's, Audrey's life and career. Thank you very much. Who would like to read from 1978 up to the 90s? Who wants to read from 1997 to the 90s? Okay, 
who would like to read it? 1978. I, 1978, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. To the 90s. Yo. <laughs> 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 Alexander, would you like to do it? No sé si está aquí Alexander. Ya ve que no está. Falla. Ay, ay. No, no quiere leer. Alison, ¿quisiera hacerlo usted? Un punto para los que lean. Ok. Me voy a Alison. Okay. Yes. Ani, ¿a usted le gustaría? Vermont. A ver, un bicho. Puedo yo. I, I listen, you told me that I can. Si puede. Yes. Si puede, si puede, Alison. Si nos puede leer, si. No. Yes, I can. Yes, okay. yes I can. So, Alej okay. Alejandra lo va a hacer desde el 2002 hasta el 2003, pero aquí no termina. Ok, go ahead, Alison. Ok, Andrea is born in Vermont, France. Andre. Acts in plays, especially com comedies in high school. After that, she goes goes to acting in school. She wins the prize Best Newcomer for the Action on French TV. And the numbers, I can't read the numbers. Go. <laughs> you can read it just uh, two by two, 1999. Oh, okay, 1999. Mm -hmm. Yes. Been it's easiest. only that it's simple. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. the only thing. Yes. Just this word, right? It's comedies. Okay. Comedies. Comedies. Okay. Comedies. Yes. Comedies. And it's yes. best new corner. What is yes. best new comer? Best ah, new comer. Okay. Yes. Eh, la mejor comediante, yeah. verdad? Wow, that's true. So let's see. Uh, Alejandra, your turn. From uh, the 2002 up to the 2003. Okay, uh, 2000, 2002. Um, Andrea acts in acts in many movies, including both. Mm, I don't know the pronunciation of that. Well, yeah. Word. Both. Uh, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Then she plays a young woman called Amelia in a movie on the same name. Amelie, 2001. Is in French, but the field is a big international hit. Andrew beca becomes popular in many countries, including the, un the United States. Andrew also acts in a field called God is Great. I'm um, no, um, 2002. Thank you. Uh, Sayo, 2003. Yes, okay. please. Andrew has a big year. She acts in the Spanish apartment and, and he loves me. He loves me not. She also acts in very pretty things. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. Okay, thank you very much. So this one is just something uh, French, right? It's about what else. So don't worry if the pronunciation is not right, it's not okay. It's just something in French, right? Any questions so far about the vocabulary in the dialogue that you would like to know? No questions? No questions about the vocabulary? No. No? All right. So, para los números grandes, recuerden que sería primero el mil. Después las centenas y después las decenas. That's so it's 1980. Mm. Pero este, cuando usted lo vea que tienen una S al final, los años, está hablando de las décadas. Entonces se puede referir solamente a ellos como de 80s o de 90s. So sabemos que incluye todo el tiempo desde los desde los años 80, ¿verdad? Que le llaman hasta los años 90, etcétera. Entonces, es primero 
1,000, o en este caso el que tenga, ¿verdad? Si es 2,000, 1,000, then you are going to have the hundreds, en este caso 900, en este de acá, 78. Y si me cuesta decirlos todos juntos, ¿verdad? La mount, este largo, solo lo puede dividir en lo que son 2 y 2, 1978, para que se le haga más fácil, ¿verdad? This is, this is just about the numbers. Let's see about the reading. Veamos acerca del reading. What do we have in the reading? So let's see, in high school, Audrey tattooed ads, in plays, on television, in movies. What are the she ads? In plays. In plays, in play. right? In plays, thank you. Many Americans like the movie. In plays. Well, Emily. Emily, right? Emily. Let's see. Audrey acts in three movies in the 2001, 2003, 2002. 2003. 2003. 2003. Okay. In her movie, Audrey mm. speaks French. English. French. French. French, right? French. French. <laughs> yeah. French. Es que tú veas, es que tú veas, es que tú veas. Oh, so here we have. I'm trying to learn really? something else. Yes. Nice. It's not easy, but we are there, nice. right? So here we have the reading with the tattoo, right? So questions so far about this. Preguntas acerca de esto. No, no questions. No question. No question. Y creo que hasta aquí llega, ¿verdad? Right? Let's see. Let's see the progress. A mí no me van a dar cartón porque no le he terminado. Oops. Yes. yes. Oops. All right. This is what we have. So we have already finished the final exam on it. Do you have any questions about the whole course of what we've been studying about that? Questions so far? Preguntas? This is a 20. Son las 8 con 20. Well, 28, right? So let's see. Um, here what we had from Elizabeth, right? That she asked for. Is Elizabeth here today? No, she's not, right? Uh no, she's not. Look, she's not here. Okay. So this is what we have. Uh, phrasal verse, right? This is something that we call it phrasal verse, or someone might say it just compound verse. Something compound is different than a phrasal one, right? Because the phrasal ones are something that are made up to make a phrase in total. Something that is compound, it is something different, right? Because each verb by itself should have their own meaning. So in this case, for example, if you are able to see, we have here a preposition plus a verb, right? So that one is making us to know that it could be just a verb plus verb or a verb plus preposition. So we ask here as after, preguntando por la salud, it says, right? So here you are going to have the, the verb and as well the meaning, right? Here we have something that it says, verbos los acompaña un adverbio, phrasal, o una preposición, ¿verdad? Una preposi preposicional de verbos modificando el sentido del verbo al que lo acompaña. ¿Qué es lo que sucede acá? Eh, en el caso de, de estos verbos, no son verbos eh, compuestos, como me decía ella. Son verbos frase, porque mencionan una frase haciendo uso ya sea de un verbo, que sería un adverbio más otro verbo, y o una frase o una preposición, ¿verdad? En el caso de acá, nosotros tenemos varios solamente con preposiciones, bend over, inclinarse, blew down, derrumbarse por el viento, blew off, dejar salir el vapor, ¿verdad? Blow away, llevarse, en so on. So, allí depende de cómo usted lo vaya a utilizar y cómo el phrasal esté estructurado. Este puede ser un adverbio o solamente lo que es una preposicional. Estos, ¿cómo se aprenden? 
pues la verdad son de memoria y se utilizan en el caso que usted quiera, ¿verdad? Eh, no es algo que, que, que sea que usted lo va a aprender con una regla o algo más. Acá en este PDF que pude encontrar y que me pareció muy bonito, eh, tenían, los tienen pues por medio de, de orden alfabético, lo cual es bueno porque ayuda un poco a identificarlos. Van con la C y van, etcétera, hasta llegar al final del alfabeto, ¿verdad? Drew away, alejarse, drew down, bajar, drew, retroceder, retroceder en su bomb. So, retroceder, hay otra que usted puede decir para retroceder o eh, lo que la gente llama echarse para atrás. Entonces, you say, uh, go down, right? Go back, go back, go back. Entonces, pues ahí depende, ¿verdad? Este, como usted lo quiera decir y hay muchas maneras. Eh, como les comento, esto lo pude encontrar allí, eh, me gustó y se los comparto, ¿verdad? Eh, no es de mi autoría, no es de la autoría de, de nadie más, sino que solamente de acá de donde dice, ¿verdad? Esta página web que se encargan de hacer cosas muy bonitas como esta. Así que eh, lo pueden utilizar. Está disponible bastante público esta situación y así como yo se los mandé, ¿verdad? Lo pueden utilizar cuantas veces ustedes quieran. En el caso de, lo, de los verbos, para aprendérselos, pues hay que aprendérselos de memoria. Question so far. Preguntas. Preguntas. No. No. No questions. No. Oh, okay. teacher, I can say I need to dry out the the night. It's correct. I need to drive out. Which one? Drive. Letter D. Below drive. Drive, drive out, salir, expulsar, eh, salir en can, un coche. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can say I need to drive out this night. Okay. Mm -hmm. En este Correct. caso, no. este drive out no es que usted vaya a salir, eh, como nosotros decimos, voy a salir, agarro el carro y me voy. Salir uh -huh. es literalmente salirse del carro. Salirse uh -huh. del carro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, ah, dice salir en coche, dice, por eso. salir en el, en el coche, sí, puede darse uh, en el caso de la, de, la, de la cuestión que se puede dar el, la, la, mala, la mala interpretación porque dice salir en el coche, pero si usted ve la de abajo dice expulsar, entonces este, la, salir en coche es como salirse del coche, ¿verdad? Es lo que ellos sí. quieren decir, uh -huh. salirse del de coche o del carro, ¿verdad? Y expulsar perdónenme la, la mala similitud que voy a hacer, sí, la mala similitud que voy a hacer, pero es como cuando esas personas, they don't use the, the belt, right? Ajá, no mm. utilizan el, el cinturón, y cuando there is a crash, cuando hay un accidente, literal, salen pero, ¿verdad? Si el parabris es pulsado, ¿verdad? Eso es. O como cuando los aviones de los, um, de estos uh, chicos de los militares no funcionan y necesitan expulsarse, ¿verdad? De la cabina y salen con el paracaídas y todo. Entonces, esa es la drive out, right? Drive out. Drive out, yes. Eso sería. Es rellenar, fill in. Fill in. Fill in, rellenar. Cuando uh -huh. usted habla de rellenar, es en este caso, tiene papel y una form y usted le hace fill in, rellena todos los espacios. Uh -huh. Ese es uh -huh. rellenar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Diga. Eh, eh, drop, drop up, drop para un vehículo. Drive out? No, drive up o oh, up. Oh. Es la, ajá. Drive off o drive in. Es la cuarta. La cuarta, la primera línea. Ajá. La cuarta. Drop. Para. Drop. Para un vehículo. Drop. Drop. 
para el vehículo. Se detiene. Para, uh -huh. Se detiene. Ah. Wrap up. Yes. Para mm. un vehículo. Uh -huh. Okay. Grow up, yes. So it's so it's a con ade, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Questions so far about this? Preguntas acerca de esto. Pregunta, pregunta. Preguntas, no preguntas. Eh, it, it in. Sí, alguien me dijo. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. eh, donde dice it, it into. Poder, poder, dice. En la segunda columna. En la, ahí. It into. Uh -huh. It into. Tiene el plato de comida o algo así. Mira. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eso es roer. Eso. ¿Cómo ¿Cómo hace? Ajá, este, como hacen eh, ver y gracias a lo que hacen los, los perritos y los gatos. Uh -huh. Cuando usted les sirve algo de comida, que alguno, algunos gatos y algunos perros son algo desconfiados, y, aunque uh -huh. son de la casa, y siempre, les, uh -huh. siempre empiezan a, a roer la comida, eso es roer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, ya ¿Questions? No questions? All right. So if there are no more questions about this one, um, eso, pues, ustedes lo van a tener ahí, ¿verdad? Es este, lo pueden repasar. Si tienen preguntas a lo largo del, del día, de la semana o de cualquier otro día, ¿verdad? Háganmelo saber y yo con mucho gusto también les puedo contestar. Okay, I would like to know if you have any questions about the course, something that might not be, um, in this case, um, completely, completely clear, not clear at all. Clear, not clear, you tell me. Ustedes me dicen, sí, no, 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 Everything is clear, you sure? Segundo? Sí. Ok. Let's see. Uh, this is what I have. Uh, the answer, right, for the question, why it not could be two uh, nouns, two present of pronouns in the same uh, sentence, right? Como se fijaron en el otro, sí pueden haber este, dos personal pronouns, you and I, en una sola oración refiriéndose a algo. Pero este you and I, si ustedes se, se dan cuenta, está haciendo, en este caso, esta palabra, en, que es el connector, ¿verdad? Un conector el que tenemos, permítanme, lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande. Es un conector que sí nos permite hacer el join de dos personal pronouns. Sin embargo, en la otra que teníamos, I want her help, allí ya nosotros no podemos. Porque aquí ni siquiera nosotros tenemos un conector. Aquí lo que nosotros tenemos es un verbo de acción. Entonces, para eso hay algo que se llama el sujeto principal de la oración y el objeto directo de la oración sobre quién recae la acción, ¿verdad? A quién se está siendo llevada o le podemos llamar, en este caso para no hacerlo tan largo, el segundo, el, el, el sujeto secundario de nuestra oración. So, en este caso, por esa razón, nosotros no podemos tener el she aquí. I want she help, right? Porque primero no es una conjunction, no es una, una, un conector. Segundo, nosotros tenemos un verbo de acción. Para el verbo de acción solo puede existir un, un, un sujeto. Y tercero, pues en este caso gramaticalmente está errado, ¿verdad? 
gramaticalmente. Entonces nosotros necesitamos auxiliarnos de cualquier otra cosa más que sea, en este caso un pronombre objeto o un pronombre posesivo o cualquier otra cosa más que nos ayude a hacer saber sobre quién va a ser el objeto directo o el segundo sujeto de nuestra oración sobre quién va a caer la acción. ¿verdad? En el caso acá, you and she, sí se podría porque también es en este caso una, una conjunction y lo puedo decir tú y ella, ¿verdad? O you and her. Ahí depende de cómo se vaya a deformar el lenguaje conforme el tiempo vaya pasando. Estos con los conectores o con las conjunctions son bien fáciles de utilizarlos porque no requiere una acción. Aquí sabemos que tanto él como ella o él y ella y él, ¿verdad? Lo, lo, sea en este caso, van a estar en el mismo orden o en la misma acción que están haciendo, ¿verdad? Esa sería, bueno, una parte de las respuestas factibles que encontré, que estuve investigando porque había unas que no me convencían a mí tampoco, entonces espero que de alguna manera les haya aclarado también esa duda, ¿verdad? Con el Yuen Shi. No sé si tienen alguna otra duda de las previas semanas que estuvimos estudiando tanto este, lo que son presente continuo, el presente, sin presente simple o algún otro tiempo que hayan estudiado anteriormente como el pasado. No sé si ustedes tienen preguntas. ¿Questions? ¿No? ¿Preguntas? ¿Preguntas? ¿No preguntas? No, pues. Entonces yo hago preguntas. No, pues. Yo hago preguntas. Just questions. But we are still having 15 minutes. Uh, for yesterday's activity, we couldn't get uh, so many people to participate. So I'm afraid that if I place any any activity at the moment, there won't be anyone participating. So let me tell you something. Let's see simple pass. Le vamos a dar un pequeño recap de Simple Pass, hasta donde se lo vieron en el principiante estrés, si no estoy equivocada. Ustedes me corrigen. En el Simple Pass, eh, ¿qué sucede? En el pasado simple tienen dos clases de verbos. ¿Cómo se llaman? Regulares e irregulares. Regulares e irregulares. And uh, irregulars. Uh -huh. Okay. With the regular verbs, ¿qué pasa con los regular verbs? No cambia. El... No sé. Sí, los regulares no se les pone. No cambia, ¿verdad? We add, ¿qué les agregamos a estos amiguitos? ED, ED. ED. ED, ED, ED right? ED, qué job. ¿Y los irregulars qué pasa? Cambian. They change. What do they change? ¿Qué cambian ellos? El tiempo en que se usan. Presente. The time, the the change. What is the change that they have? The time. Present. Okay, time. Come on. They change our structure. Structure. Mm -hmm. Structure, you say. Ok, ¿qué más cambia? Eh, time. Which one, I'm sorry? How do you, how do you, el team? Perdón, no, no, no entendí. Escuché un, un background y no le pude escuchar su voz. Me lo repite, por favor, disculpe. El clima cambia, pero no sé si va a incluir. Ok, um, the, the writing form. The writing and the pronunciation as well, right? Okay. ¿Qué más cambia? ¿Solo eso? ¿O algo más? Solo eso, okay. And in, for the irregular ones, do, you, do we have any rule or we have to learn them? Para los irregulares, ¿tenemos alguna regla o los tenemos que aprender? We have to learn them. Aprender. Uh -huh. Aprender. Aprender, right? 
a aprender. Yeah, Let's see. We have to learn. Go. What is the simple pass of go? Go. When. Go. When. Which when. one? When. 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 Y el past participle, alguien se lo sabe. Gone. 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 Good job. Take. ¿Quién se sabe el pasado de take? Took. Um, Took. Took. Thank you. Took. ¿Y el pasado participio? Take. 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 Thank you. Wow. So, cut. <laughs> ¿Cuál es el pasado de cut? Cut. 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 Yes. Cut. 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 Okay. The read. The same. Read. 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 ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Read. 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 Good job. Read. Read. Ya se lo saben. Veo que se lo saben la mayoría. Veamos do. Read. ¿Cuál es el pasado de do? Did. Do. 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 Is it me who is breaking up or is someone else? Uh -huh. Soy yo la que se está cortando someone, someone else. else. Yeah. Someone else. Someone okay. Else. So this one's you already know it, right? Eso ya se lo saben. Ya se lo saben cuáles van con, el, con ese, con el otro, ¿verdad? Pero si yo tuviera este verbo. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Every time that I hear someone saying Quite like sure. that, I'm like, a, wow, me too. I'm feeling like that. I feel you, my friend. I feel no, you. Yo me yes. <laughs> me too. Me too. I just get like, oh okay, let's see. Uh, watch. What? Just one second. I'm going Qué to be there. Just one second. I'm going to be there. History is in the, in the virtual classes, right? So one second. Okay, those are histories in the virtual classes. Okay, let's see. Uh, someone uh, with the W wash, right? Uh, the very wash. What it will be the the simple pass? Wash it, right? I answer it myself. Any other verb? Algún otro verbo que sea regular? Dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. Cook. Mm -hmm. We have dance. Another one. Cook. What else? Eat. Eat. Love. Check. Loved. Cook. And we are going to check. Loved. Which one? Which other one? What okay. other? Check. Okay. Lovers. Lead, etc. Right? Okay. Why did I bring all of this to you once again? Did you know, right? Everything like that. That these beautiful verbs here, they got three different pronunciations. Les comentaron que los verbos en pasado tienen tres diferentes pronunciaciones. Yes. Yes. What are they? Tell us some. D, D, E, I, D. Which ones? In the regular, it yeah. puede sonar con T, con D, o con I, D. Okay. Thank you. That's true. 
D. Okay. Which one sounds with D and which one sounds with I D and which one sounds with T? Does anyone know? Alguien sabe? Anyone knows? With D, which one sounds with D? This thing looks like an emoji, huh? Eso estaba pensando cuando la vi. I know, I know. That's come to my mind at the moment that I saw it. It looks like an emoji. This looks like an emoji thing, I said. Okay. And it will be the ones with L, with N, R, R, G, B, S, W, Y, and Z. Those ones are the ones that get the D pronunciation, right? Those birds that has this, where do they get it? They get it whenever they are finishing in these letters. Lo obtienen cuando terminan en cualquiera de estas letras, ¿verdad? O que parcialmente M. terminan. With M. N. With N. M. N. I'm sorry. With M. Sí, con la letra M. M. Yes, as well. Let me check in my list. Oh, no, no, no. The M is not there. Let me check. Hmm. Clean the damage. No, with the M, no. Just only with the N. Just only with the N, right? Con la okay. N, no. Con la M, no. Solamente con la N. Los tenemos en la D. Eso serían con la D, right? With M, no. With M, no. Double confirming here. No. On my list, no. I don't have it. I will send it to you at least so you can have it then as well. Let's see, uh, T, right? Con a T, ¿alguien sabe cuáles son los que van con T? Anyone? Q, Q, S. Q, S. Okay. H. H, or a combination. Mm -hmm. H o una combinación. Tenemos la H o combinación de H. Uh, combinación. Tenemos las combinaciones. Llevan H, sí. Muchas gracias. Tenemos combinación. Es H, C, H, E, H. K. A. Uh -huh. There is something that is missing. One for Peter, right? La de Peter. P. What else? P. We got C. Tenemos la C. ¿Cuál otra? F. La F. We will need to verify is that when the F is not voiceless. But let's see. Se la voy a doble a confirmar porque la F no es voiceless. Okay. I will press it in parentheses. Then we have X, right? That's in Xavier. Okay. What else? Anyone else wants to add it something? No? Yes, no? Mm. All right. So these ones are the ones that we have as a T, right? So every bird that might have these letters at the ending as well, right? That it might be ending or they have any word ending or have this letter prior one vowel, you can pronounce it as a T, but only in the simple past with the regular verbs. Los va a pronunciar así solamente en el pasado simple con los verbos regulares, ¿verdad? Los irregulares, pues como ustedes me mencionaban, tenemos solamente cambio en pronunciación y escritura. Veamos, ID. With the ID, which ones are the ones that sounds ID? ID. ¿Cuáles suenan con ID? Los que les suenan con ID son la T y la D. Esas son las que suenan. Son un verbo terminado en eso. Vamos a necesitar la pronunciación 
id, right? Id. So las otras son n, ids, ¿verdad? Yes. Esta es un poquito complicada porque duele un poco la garganta. Es un sonido bien extraño. Uh, la otra es más fácil porque es más, más empujado. Y este es id. 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 Yes. That it will be for you to know, right? Um, just a little recap on what you've been studying in the previous courses. You don't have to learn it like by heart, right? It's important that you can start doing the changes, yes. But um, it depends on you, right? That you will be practicing yes or no. Ahí depende de ustedes si van a practicar sí o no. Eh, los cambios se hacen conforme al tiempo, pero el tiempo es práctica también. ¿verdad? Así que no olviden eso, que siempre tienen que seguir practicando todo, todito lo que aprenden. An hour is not enough. Una hora no es suficiente, right? It's not enough practicing. It's hard practicing online, right? Es un poco difícil practicar online. Uh, but every time that a, that a person, a teacher, a facilitator, anyone that it will be helping to you, gives you the time that you can get something out of yourself, participate, participate, right? Talk, participate. Cada vez que se le da la oportunidad, ¿verdad? Yo no les hice muchos grupos porque hay algunos que su micrófono no les funciona bien, ¿verdad? Yo lo entiendo eso, no hay problema, pero aunque no participe aquí con nosotros, ¿verdad? Hágalo en su casa, escriba, ¿verdad? Y tome provecho. Eso sé, en mi parte, ¿verdad? Comments, questions. Eh, by the way, um, if you have any question regarding your inscriptions, let me know. Tomorrow I will be contacting uh, the person in church, the coordinator. So I will let her know all of the doubts that you have about it. Because uh, Anna, I'm sorry, uh, I'm going to write her tomorrow in the morning mm -hmm. so I can get an answer during the afternoon time, right? Or during the midday time. Si okay. tienen alguna pregunta este, con respecto a algo que quieran saber, y yo con mucho gusto se lo hago llegar a la coordinadora, este, póngalo en el grupo también porque ella está en el grupo y puede ver también ahí sus, sus comentarios o preguntas mm -hmm. si ustedes las tienen. Este, igual yo se lo hago saber y luego le informo a usted, ¿verdad? Eh, el día de hoy termina su curso en línea. Hasta donde yo veo en la plataforma dice que termina el 24. Me imagino que es para todo lo, lo administrativo. Fecha de inicio, eh, esa no me la dan a mí, right? I'm afraid that I'm not going to be with you the next coming module. Creo que no voy a estar con ustedes. No. Más. So take advantage of everyone. So me ventaja de todos, right? Um, everyone has their different way to teach. Everyone has their different methods to teach. And everyone do the ways, the things that they the way that they think that is good, right? So, cada uno hace las cosas como pensamos que es mejor lo que mejor les, les facilite a ustedes o lo que mejor vaya a ser más amena la clase, ¿verdad? Depende. Así que it's all no mayores. Ah, oh, yes, my allergies <laughs> are making me cry. No, I'm sorry. You know, I have two jobs, right? Uh, this is my secondary job, so that's why. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm most stressful. likely all the day. Yes, and the weather is not good for me. I'm always getting allergies. El clima no me hace bien. Las personas que tienen alergias se identificarán. Yes. Sí. So, see, um, it was a pleasure, guys, to be with you. Letting Thank you, you know, right? Thing. Getting to know you, each one of you. Thank you, teacher. You are welcome. For and your time, time that your you extra time. Right? Yes, sure. Thank you, thank you. Thank you You're thank welcome. You. Eh, si tienen alguna pregunta, thank ya you. saben dónde encontrarme, ¿verdad? Ahí estoy siempre. Y aunque conteste tarde, pero siempre voy a contestar. <ríe> yes. Eso es lo so, bueno, eso es lo bueno. Eso es lo bueno, ¿verdad? Que nunca se van a quedar sin respuesta. Tarde, uh -huh. lento pero seguro. <ríe> lento pero seguro. Yes. Sí, ah, gracias, so, teacher, por todo. Like Ay, Ya saben, un placer. Gracias, teacher. Gracias, okay. teacher. Thank you, Bendiciones. Good night. Good night. Take care. 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 Take care.